Towards the end of our visit, Kara and I decided to see some of the older parts of Panama. First, we were off to Panama Viejo, literally, Old Panama, the ruins of the original city, which was founded clear back in 1519 as the first European settlement on the Pacific coast of the Americas. After paying our admission to the park, Kara paid $10 as a Panamanian citizen, I had to pay 15 as a foreigner, we got on the tram, which took us to the main ruins. To our right was the Pacific, with one of the viaducts of the Pan American Highway visible in the distance, while on our left were assorted ruins. The trip only took a few minutes, and we could have walked were we ambitious, but it was already pretty hot out. The tram led us off at a museum, full of exhibits which discussed the history and culture of Panama, as well as the history of Panama Viejo itself. My favorite was this giant map, which showed all of the known buildings before it was destroyed. Some of these we would see the remains of later. There were, of course, many religious artifacts. The reason Panama Viejo is now ruins is that because in 1671 it was sacked by the British buccaneer Captain Henry Morgan. Yes, that Captain Morgan. At one point, a fire broke out. It is believed that the defenders of the city themselves set it so as to prevent the city from falling into enemy hands. It was burnt to the ground. After the sacking, it was decided to move the city to an area that was more easily defended. That area is now known as Castro Viejo, which we will visit next. After the museum, we visited Panama Viejo's most famous building and iconic symbol, the bell tower of the old cathedral. One of the buildings we visited was the Jesuit convent, La Campaña de Jesús. We will later have dinner at its replacement in Castro Viejo, which is now a luxury hotel. And that's the end of our visit to Panama Viejo. Now it's off to a few miles down the coast to Costco Viejo. Boy, San Viejo so many times is getting really old. Costco Viejo used to be a rundown, even dangerous neighborhood. But in 1997, it was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site and since has been heavily restored. It is now a tourist hotspot full of luxury hotels, expensive clothing shops, fancy coffee shops, museums, and restaurants. One of Costco Viejo's most famous landmarks is the Golden Altar. To keep it from being looted by Henry Morgan's buccaneers, the priests painted it black in order to disguise it. According to legend, the pirates even gave them some alms so they could fix up the place a bit. This site was chosen because it's a more easily defendable peninsula, so the views of the water are pretty nice. One street was dedicated to Panama's most famous hat. The Panama hat, of course, is not actually from Panama, but from Ecuador. As I mentioned earlier, we went to dinner at the beautiful La Campaña Hotel, only recently finished. It has a unique style in that each wing captures an era of Panamanian history. The food was quite delicious. For more details on that, check out our video on Panamanian restaurants. And that's the end of our day in Old Panama. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, give us a like. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow on with our further voyages.